We're going to have a look at how to create a DOI in DOI Fabrica using the form. To create DOIs, you need to have a client account and you need to have a prefix. Here I'm logged in to the data site, data site client, and I'm using the test environment. Here on the dashboard, I can see how many DOIs have already been created in this client. In the settings, I can see the client ID and the contact information. Here in the prefixes tab, I can see how many prefixes and what prefixes we have assigned to the uh, client. If you have no prefix here, you need to contact your provider. Here in the DOIs tab, we can see all of the DOIs that have already been created and the state of them. And here I'm going to click Create Form to create a DOI. Here at the top, we have the DOI name. This section refers to the prefix and there are four prefixes assigned to this client account. I'm going to stick with the one that's already selected. This is the suffix part of the DOI name. This is an auto-generated suffix. I'm going to leave it as it is. You can edit that section if you wish. The next section is the state. There are three states, draft, registered and findable. Draft DOIs can be deleted, registered and findable DOIs cannot be deleted. I'm going to leave this DOI in draft for now. Here, the URL or landing page where we want the DOI to point. I'm going to point to a blog post. Next is the creators field. At the top, we can include a name identifier. I'm going to include an ORCID ID. And here, it automatically populates the given name and family name fields. You can also fill that information in manually. You'll also notice there are two radio buttons here. You can choose whether the creator is a person or an organization. Let's carry on down. Here is the affiliation field. This is optional if you wish to include an affiliation. You can add another affiliation and you can add another creator. Next is the title field. This is a required field. If you wish, you can also include the title type. If this is not the main title, you have the option to include the alternative, subtitle, translated title or other. And you may include the language. You can add another title. And we get to the publisher field. This is also a required field, as is the publication year. And the resource type, in this case, text. Next, we have the resource type optional, where you can include more information about the data set or content that you're sharing. And finally, the description, this is also optional. If you do include a description, you have to include a description type, in this case, abstract, and the language is optional. Okay, I think we're ready to create the DOI, so I'm just gonna click Create DOI here, and we have our draft DOI. Now I'm gonna update this DOI, over here where it says Update DOI Form, and I'm gonna move the state from draft to findable and working in the test environment, so this isn't really a findable DOI. I'm gonna click update DOI here, and there we have one findable DOI. That's all. Contact support at datasite.org if you have any questions.